ओम शांति मैं वसाकार मुरली अक्टूबर फोर्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाप दादा मधुबन वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन हैव द फेथ व्हाट इज द फेथ दैट यू आर सोल्स नंबर वन and not those are your bodies and not the bodies that is number 2 there is no question of having vision in this soul doesn't mean that we have a vision no even if people were to have a vision of a soul they wouldn't be able to understand it some people say that we believe in baba or in brahma kumaris if we have a vision baba says no question of it only transformation only realization question by following which rimat of the father will you be liberated from being punished in the jail of a womb answer the father rimat is what baba is telling so that we can free ourselves from the jail of the womb punishment of the jail of the womb first become conquerors of attachment second belong to the one father and none other one but none third simply remember me ma me kam yaad kar and don't perform any sinful acts and you will be liberated from being punished in the jail of a womb so these are the four condition if we don't want the you can say punishment of the jail of a womb you have been jail birds here for birth after birth the father has now come to liberate you from that punishment in heaven golden aged world or silver aged world no home of you can say no jail of the home so there is no punishment because we are totally soul conscious there is no jail of the home in the golden age even in the silver age om shanti the spiritual father explains to you spiritual children what a soul is and who the supreme soul his father is in the beginning baba always give the knowledge of the soul and supreme soul without knowing the soul how can we be able to know the supreme soul he explain this once again because this is an impure world once again means soul supreme soul connection and drama a b c d so baba is giving the whole knowledge of everything those who are impure are always senseless the pure world is the sensible world bharat was the pure world that is it was the kingdom of deities it was the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan they were very wealthy and happy but the people of bharat don't understand these things people of bharat believe in lakshmi and narayan they also know that they were very very wealthy very happy kingdom of you can say paradise but they don't know they don't understand the things they don't know the father the supreme father the creator they don't know the deities biography of deity is biography of the father it is only human beings who would know this animals would not know this because level of consciousness level of intellect is different in all animals human being is also animal but highest level of intellect they they even remember o oh, supreme father supreme soul he is the parlok of the father the soul remembers his supreme father the supreme soul it is a physical father who gives birth to body where that supreme father the supreme soul is the parlokic father the father of souls people worship lakshmi and narayan they understand that they existed in the golden age and that rama and sita were in the silver age the father comes here and explains children you have been remembering me your parlokic father for birth after birth so he comes and he reminds us everything god the father who definitely be the incorporeal one 
because he is the supreme. So no corporeal body, no subtle body, no physical body. We souls are also incorporeal. We became corporeal after coming here. We were incorporeal when we were in the supreme mode. That is sweet the silence home. Coming corporeal here. This very small matter doesn't enter anyone's intellect. That unlimited father of yours is the creator. I was it is very, very, you can say, small things, small matter. That we are so children of the same supreme soul, but it is not going in the intellect of, you can say, majority of the people. You call out, you are the mother and father. We belong to the father. We belong to you. And so we become the masters of heaven. Without knowing the father, no one can become the master of heaven. Then we forget you and become the masters of hell. After copper age, at the end of the silver age, we forget and become the master of hell. That father now sits here and explains through this one. I am the creator and this is my creation. This is means Brahma even. I am explaining the secrets of it to you. This one also understands. This one Brahma Dada. No one has been a no one has seen a soul. So why do you say I am a soul? Nobody is seeing a soul. You understand that you share, you soul share your bodies, share your bodies and take others. It is said a great soul, a charitable soul. It is not said that a great body, a charitable body. You have the faith. What is the faith? I am a soul and this is my body. Complete faith. We can experience soul. We cannot see the soul. Each body is perishable, whereas an imperishable soul is a child of that Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. This is such an easy matter, but good, sensible ones are unable to understand. Those who are qualified, those who have, you can say, education, they also don't understand this thing, unable to understand. Maya has locked your intellect. Why? Because Maya, negativity, waste, body consciousness. You can't have a vision of yourself, a soul. Nobody can see a soul, source of unlimited light, source of unique light. So no question of seeing. It is soul that take many births. Their fathers change in every birth, soul's father. Why do you not have the faith that you are a soul? You ask to have a vision of a soul. For so many births, did you tell anyone that you should have a vision of a soul? I was asking a question. Why you are asking now only, when you are getting the knowledge that we must have a vision of soul? Up till now, you were telling we are a soul, but nobody asked about vision of the soul. Some people do have a vision of a soul, but they are unable to understand it. By chance, suppose someone has a vision, nobody understand before no knowledge. You don't know the father. No one apart from the unlimited father can grant souls a vision of God. Only the best hour of divine vision is the supreme God father. It is his quality. Only God has that quality. Except Him, nobody can give the vision. They say, oh God, so He is the Father. Is He not? Every, you can say, soul of every religion is calling Him, oh God. You have two fathers. One is the perishable father who gives birth to a perishable body. The other is the imperishable father of imperishable souls. One is a physical father, other is a incorporeal father. You think you are the mother and father. He is becoming mother because teaching everything, starting from how to think, then how to walk, how to talk, how to behave in the society. Everything is teaching. So he is the mother. 
and giving inheritance of heaven. So he is the father. You remember him and he must surely have come. Must he not? Jagdamba and Jagatpita are sitting here. They are studying Raja Yoga. There was the kingdom of Lakshmi and Nara in paradise. They too existed in Bharat. People believe that heaven is somewhere up above, but the memorials of Lakshmi and Narayan are here, and so they must surely have ruled their kingdom here. The Dilwala temple is the memorial of your present time. Complete memorial. You are Raj Yogis. You have Kumaris, and Kumaris are sitting here. So there is a temple of Kumaris and half Kumaris in Mount Hav. And the memorial of this is created on the path of devotion. In reality, it is with us. In Bab, with Baba. Memorial is in Mount Abu. The name Kumaris and sorry. The name Dil Dilwala also have, has a meaning. Dilwala, that is Dilwala. Who is the one who conquer your hearts? Dilwala. This Adi Dev and Adi Devi are studying Raj Yoga. Adi Dev is Brahma, Adi Dev is Saraswati, Brahma and Baba. They too would remember that incorporeal Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. He is the highest one, high, the person of knowledge, his qualities, Baba's qualities. He sits in the body of this Adi Dev and explains to all of you children. They don't know anything about what that temple was built, that is Dilwala temple, why it was built, or whose memorial it is. Nobody knows. They mention the names of so many goddesses, Kali, Durga, Annapurna, which goddess of food. Who would be the goddess Annapurna who provides food for the whole world? Do you know? Which goddess fulfill people's need for God, for food? That is an Purna. Bharat was heaven. There were plenty of material comforts there. When it was heaven, everything was abundant. Nothing was lacking. So plenty of material comforts there. Comfort cannot give the happiness. Happiness is the quality of the soul. Until only 80 to 90 years ago, you could still get 85 pounds of grain for 10 to 2 anna, that is 3 by 4 rupees. So everything would have been so cheap before that. Because Brahma Baba was a grain merchant, so he knows the prices of all grains. In the golden age, grains, etc. are very good and cheap. However, no one understands even this. The father comes here and teaches you souls. Souls listen through their physical senses. The soul has received these eyes with which to see and ears with which to hear. The father says, what father says? I, the incorporeal, also take support of the body of this one, the body of the other. I am always called Shiva. Shiva means benefactor. People have given me many names, Rudra, Shiva, Somanath, as per his qualities or as per his function. Rudra means he comes and creates the Rudra Yagya transformation. Shiva, benefactor, Somnath, who gives the knowledge, nectar of knowledge. But my one and only name is Shiva, original name, only one name is Shiva. Devotees have been remembering God and saying salutation to Shiva. It is now 2500 years since they came into existence. On the path of devotion, there was at first unadulterated worship. You have now put me into the pebbles and stones, means we call him omnipresent for all pervaders. But actually he is not. It is now the end of that devotion. You know, that was a feeling so that people cannot do any, you can say, 
negative or wasteful actions. That was the reason filling was created, that he is sitting in every papal instance. So his remembrance is there, his love is there in everyone, but not he. I have come to take everyone back home. This old world is to end, no choice. Bombs have been manufactured and so everyone will be destroyed in short time. In the golden age, there are so few people, there are only 900,000. When will all the rest go? Where will all the rest go? There will be wars and earthquakes, etc. Destruction definitely has to take place, no choice. Anything becoming old has to be recycled and make made to new. Same with the world too. This one is Prajapita. There are so many Brahma, Kumars and Kumaris. Who is the father of Brahma in corporeal Shiva? You are his grandchildren and granddaughters. You are claiming your inheritance from Shiva Baba. So you have to remember him alone, one but none. It is by having remembrance that your burden of sins will be removed. You know that this is a vicious, impure world. The golden age is a viceless world. There is no poison miswise there. According to the system, everyone only has one son. There is never untimely death there. It is the land of happiness. Here, there is so much sorrow everywhere. Sorrow, sorrow and sorrow, nothing. However, no one knows these things. They relate the Gita. The versions of God are the Sri Madh Bhagavad Gita. Acha? Who is God? They say that it is Sri Krishna. Oh, oh but he is a young child. So how could he teach Raj Yoga? At that time, the world is not impure. So when there was a golden age, world was pure. So no need to remember him, no need to learn or teach Raj Yoga. The one who teaches Raj Yoga for salvation has to exist here in this world, not up above. In the Gita, it is written, the sacrificial fire of knowledge of the Gita of Rudra. There is no sacrificial fire of the knowledge of the Gita of Sri Krishna. So Baba says, Rudra Baba, not Krishna Baba. This is sacrificial fire, has, sorry, this sacrificial fire has been continuing for so many years. When will it end? when the whole world is sacrificed into it. Till that, it will continue. At the end of the sacrificial fire, in the physical world too, they sacrifice everything into it. Whatever they have in their plates, they will put everything in fire and sacrifice. This sacrificial fire will continue till end. This old world is going to end. No choice for that. The father says, I am the death of all deaths, Mahakal. I have come to take everyone back home. This is his duty. I am teaching you that you become the masters of heaven. You know that at this time, all human beings are constantly unfortunate. In the golden age, you were constantly fortunate. So Baba is totally explaining us the paradox, the opposite sides of golden age and iron age. You know that at this time, all human beings are constantly unfortunate. In the golden age, you were constantly fortunate. Explain this difference to everyone. That is the difference of golden age and iron age as well. When people come here, they understand very well, but as soon as they return home, everything is finished. That's like because Maya. Similarly, they make a promise in the jail of a womb that they won't commit any more sin. Then as soon as they came out, they come out, they begin to commit sin again. 
they are jail birds at this time all human beings are jail birds so they are coming out of the jail they are doing again any crime and again go to the jail they repeatedly enter the jail of a womb and experience punishment the father says i am now liberating you from becoming jail bird of a womb why because he is making us so conscious in the golden age a womb he is not called a jail i have come to liberate you from that punishment now remember me don't commit any sin become conquerors of attachment people sing mine is one alone and none other people say one but none they are not referring to sri krishna sri krishna took 84 births and has now come and become brahma he is the one who will become then become sri krishna again cycle this is why he has entered this body last birth of soul of krishna this drama is predestined god is now establishing the sun and moon dynasties <coughs> he is creating your reward for the future <coughs> you are now making effort in creating your reward each actor has his own part in the drama so drama cannot be completed with even without a actor who has a very very small part in the drama so everybody is required why should we weep and wail about this we remember that one father while we are alive we are not even concerned about these bodies we when we shed these old bodies we will go to baba at this time you saw bhara so much your names are remembered as anpurna durga kali etc there isn't really any kali with a pure sam form or ganesh with the elephant trunk human beings are human beings so how to indicate the negativity or speciality of the soul so they indicated in form of kali in form of ganesh etc the father now explains to you i am making you children become like lakshmi and narayan have the faith that you are claiming your inheritance from baba and then in the future you will become princess and princesses no one knows the father who he is creator of heaven they have even forgotten jagdamba the ones whose temple has been built are now sitting here in living form that is mama after the iron age there has to be golden age has to be no choice because it is the cycle people ask when destruction will take place however first of all study and become clever don't think about destruction first study and become clever the mahabharat war definitely took place and it was only after that that the gates to heaven open so the gates to heaven are now being opened through these mothers they sing salutation to the mothers it is pure ones who are praised there are two types of mother one type of a physical social worker and the other is of a spiritual social worker both are social workers but one is physical one is spiritual one is dealing with the body another is dealing with the soul so baba clarify both the things there are two types of mother one type of a mother is social workers physical social worker another is a spiritual social worker this is your spiritual pilgrimage no need to spend money no need to spend time or no need to spend energy it is a spiritual pilgrimage so baba says <clears throat> you know that we will shed our bodies and go back home god speaks man mana bhav means remember me your father sri krishna the child would not say this 
he 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 has his own path. Krishna. No one understands the meaning of man mana bhava. The father says, remember me and your sins will be absolved and you will receive wings with which to fly. You are now changing from those with stone intellects into those with divine intellects. The creator, the father of all is only one. There are also the temples to Adi Dev and Adi Devi. You, their children, are studying Raj Yoga here. It is here that you did the Pasha and so your memorials are in front of you. How did Lakshmi and Narayan receive their kingdom? That is their temple. Nothing else. You are Raj Rishis. You are now making effort to attain your kingdom or attain your fortune of the kingdom of Bharat once again. You are establishing the kingdom of heaven in Bharat. You are serving Bharat with your own bodies, minds and wealth. We are not begging any money, asking any money or any help from others. We Baba children maintain everything. You are liberating everyone from the impure kingdom of Ravan by following Father Srimad. The Father is the liberator, the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. He inspired the destruction of the old world in order to remove your sorrow. So why is he inspiring the destruction of our old world? Because we require the new world, the happy world. He enables you to conquer your enemy so that you can become conquerors of Maya and conquerors of the world. You claim the kingdom every cycle and then lose it. This is the sacrificial fire of knowledge of Rudra Shiv Baba through which the flames of destruction emerge. All of them will be destroyed and you will become constantly happy. Sorrow begins in the copper age. So two ages, golden age, silver age, completely happiness, no sorrow at all. The father says, I come and change the residence of hell into the residence of heaven. Hindi, Manishko ki ye devta karatna lagi baal, banane wala ho. The iron age is the broth hell and the golden age is Sivalaya. You are being made into the masters of heaven by the unlimited father and so your mercury of this happiness should rise. Acha, to the sweetest, the beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children say love, remembrance, good morning and say Namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe, mithe, sikala de bacho prati. Mat Pita Bab Dada Ka Yad Pyar or Good Morning Ruhani Bab Ki Ruhani Bacho Ko Namaste Ham Ruhani Bacho Ki Ruhani Mat Pita Bab Dada Ko Yad Pyar Good Morning or Namaste Shukriya Baba Shukriya Essence for Dharana number one Remember the Father for as long as you live till the end of the life we will be student we will study, we will remember Baba and claim your right to the inheritance. Without remembrance, no inheritance. Don't be concerned about anything. Also forget about everything. Point number two, do the service of making Bharat into heaven by using your body, mind and wealth according to Srimad and show everyone the way to be liberated from Rava. Today's blessing, may you be a world transformer who transform the whole world. First self, self-transformation will lead to world transformation who burns away the rubbish of the old world with an intense fire of yoga. So Baba explains, all the rubbish of impurities can be burnt away with the intense fire of yoga, that is, in a fire of love and power of elevated thoughts. 
intense fire of yoga means nothing. Yoga means nothing but elevated thoughts. Or you can say fire of love and power of elevated thoughts. In the memorial of the goddesses, it is shown that the devilish powers were finished in an intense fire. That memorial is of this present time. Everything what we are celebrating in the Iron Age world that is of the present time. So first of all become an intense form of fire and burn away devilish sanskars and nature and become completely pure. You will then become instrument for world transformation and burn the rubbish of the world in the fire of yoga of purity. Slogan, and when an ob ob obedient soul is the one who is free from all the dictates of himself and dictates of others and constantly follows Srimat. The definition of the obedient soul who always follows Srimat, they cannot follow dictates of the self or others. Acha, Om Shanti.